Hello everybody, I'm Josh with Overdrive Outdoors. I wanted to show you guys how to do the side load of the firmware on an ATN Xsite 4K or an ATN Thor 4. Uh, this 4K 5x20 is mounted to a Ruger MK2 Model 77 243. I only say that because everybody always asks. Um, first thing as always, make sure that the gun is unloaded for safety. Always, first thing. Second thing you're going to do is hold down the power. If the scope is off, as soon as you touch the power button, it's going to click. Do not let go of the power button, though. Hold that power button down until it clicks off. And that guarantees that there's no power in the scope. So you're going to just hold that down for up to 30 seconds sometimes. There's the first click that was audible. There's the second click. There is a pause in between that where I paused the video, so that was about 20 seconds of holding that power button down. The scope is now off. After that, you can go ahead and open the ATN firmware update software. Select my device type before I plug it in. It doesn't matter how you do it. I just select Xsite 4K. And you go ahead and plug in your scope with the USB-C. And this is where a lot of people have struggled that have messaged me is the press down and power simultaneous buttons. Um, when you do that, there will be another click in your scope and then update should turn blue. So I'll just show you how I do that. So at the same time, power and the down button, the bottom button. There's one click. After that one click, it took about five seconds and update turned blue. Uh, click update and it'll go through the whole process. Let it run. When all is finished, update's going to go gray. It's going to say after update is finished, press and hold power button for 15 seconds to restart in normal mode. So what I do, I unplug the USB, hold the power button down until you hear an audible click. I'll let you guys just sit here for that one. There it was. Scope then powers up. Don't worry about the flashing. That is just the camera on the lens. But then you go through. Factory restore the scope as they always say to do after a firmware update. Re-input your... Uh, X, Y, I usually write those down before I do the update, or you can save them to your SD card. But uh, I re-input that, re-input my time and date, time to go.